In this video we are going to go over how to use the savings tracker page. Whether you are trying to establish your starter emergency fund, saving up for major purchases like vacations, the replacement of a vehicle, or repairs to your house. This sheet will help you manage your goals, and be intentional about where you put your money. This sheet provides a central location where you can list each savings goal. Think of each goal as an extension of your spending plan. The concept here is to establish sinking funds that are associated with large purchase category items that happen periodically. Let's look at how this sheet is laid out. Starting in the top left corner, the current savings balance is the balance shown at the end of the savings account register. Just below this number is the amount left to allocate. This number updates as you enter distribution amounts in the allocated balance column below. In the center of the sheet are two graphs. The first shows an overview of your total amount of savings accumulation and how much you have left to reach your overall goal. To the right are individual graphs showing the amount left to reach each individual category goal listed below. In the top right corner of the screen, you have a show help button that will reveal tooltips explaining each section of the page. The restore savings tracker data button allows you to import data from an external data file created using the data manager import export feature. Just below the graphs is a savings goal calculator Use this tool to do quick calculations on different savings objectives. It basically answers the following question. How much saving would be accumulated? Making a certain deposit amount every month, at a certain interest rate, for a certain number of months. To demonstrate let's say you have $1,000 to save per month for the next 24 months. If you made a rate of return of 10% each month, you would have accumulated over $26,400 at the end of this period. This calculator allows you to play with different amounts. Let's say you increase the deposit amount to $1,500 per month, made a return of 12% in the same 24-month period, you would now have accumulated over $40,400. This represents a considerable increase within the same period. This illustrates the power of compounding interest, and how increasing the rate of return on your investments can really change the scope of your savings in a big way. This is very powerful information. This sheet is not designed to track investment accounts like 401ks and mutual funds. This calculator was included to give you a good idea of how adopting an overall mindset towards saving and investing can impact your finances in a positive way over time. As stated earlier, this sheet is primarily used to track sinking funds and cash held in one local savings or money market account. You will not be getting big returns on this money, and that's okay, because the purpose of the funds tracked here is to support the main spending plan. By using this tool, you will be able to pad your budget with enough reserve funds to keep your finances on a stable foundation. Now let's review the column layout in the category list table. The savings category column lets you choose a tracking category from a drop-down list. In the savings goal column, enter the target amount you wish to save in that category. At the top of this column is a sort button, allowing you to sort your goals from smallest to largest. The minimum addition column, allows you to enter the minimum amount each month you plan to allocate to this category each month. The rate column is the interest rate earned on your saving or money market account balance. Data in the plan column is pulled directly from the spending plan sheet for the current month. The actual column shows what you've transferred as part of a split transaction for the current month. The idea here is that when you see your actual amount next to the planned amount, you will be motivated to stick to your plan as you begin to see it in action. The allocated balance column allows you to manually update distribution of the total save to each sinking fund. Entering this amount manually provides positive feedback that you are directly affecting the outcome of your goals. The savings goal difference column is the difference between the savings goal and the allocated balance amounts. This information is used to generate the chart shown above. The months left and completion date show the number of monthly additions left and the date this goal will be completed. These values are based on the planned addition you are making this month. These columns reveal that if you add more than your minimum, you will shorten the amount of time it takes to get to your goal. As you can see the sheet is laid out to be straightforward. Setting a savings goal requires intentional effort, and the willingness to postpone immediate satisfaction for more long-term stability. 